Hello my fellow Kenyans, habari zenu wa Kenya wazangu. I am Gakonga, the coach and the founder of Vision Total Football Kenya. The topic of today is going to be the death of Harambe Stars. I will say it again. The topic of today is going to be the death of Harambe Stars, our national team that we love so much. That's the one I want to talk about, the death of Harambe Stars. And I want us to analyze something. I want us to look our youth teams and this is when you will understand where I am coming from. I want to go back to 2010. Our under 17 team played against Somalia and they lost to Somalia. Result 3-2. That is Somalia. Kenya under 17 against Somalia. Let us move forward. I want to talk about uh, our Kenya under 17 team again, their performance during the Kosafa Cup. Kosafa Cup, for those who don't know about it, it is a similar cup to Sekafa. So Kosafa is played by countries like uh, Madagascar, Zambia, Malawi, those kind of country. So Kenya under 16 got invited uh, to play that cup in 2016. They were uh, they played as a guest uh, nation and the result there the results were terrible Kenya against Malawi Kenya nil Malawi 5 Kenya against South Africa South Africa 4 Kenya nil Kenya against Zambia Zambia 4 Kenya nil that match then 2016 FKF said that that match was going to act as a preparation for uh, Sekafa, sorry, for Africa Cup of Nation under 17 that was going to follow then. Now, when our under 17 played for uh, for the under 17 Sekafa tournament to try and qualify, they played against Cameroon. The result was Kenya, uh, Kenya zero, Cameroon seven. However, that was round one. So Kenya went to the next round because I think Zambia withdrew. So Kenya went to round two with Cameroon. Again, Kenya lost to Cameroon. So imagine those kind of results. Under 17, Kenya losing to Cameroon 7-0. And the other, other result that, that I have just mentioned uh, before, uh, which are uh, Malawi 5, Kenya nil. Zambia 4, Kenya nil. South Africa 4, Kenya nil. So that's 2016. And I have just also mentioned uh, 2010, our under 17 losing to Somalia. So that's something I wanted to talk about, uh, about our under 17 team. So to see uh, the performance of our youth teams, the national uh, youth teams. Now, I want to talk about our under 20. Our under 20 team played against uh, South Africa in 2013 and the coach was John Kamau then. They lost to South Africa 2-1. Come forward. 2017, just last year, our under 20 played against Senegal. They lost 4-1. The coach was John Kamau then still. Now, my idea here is not to talk about coaches, but I just mentioned uh, which coach took the team there. Now, I also want to look at our under-23. Our under-23 uh, played against Botswana and they lost as well. That was in 2015 and the coach was Bobby William then. So he took that team under-23 under and they lost to Botswana. Our under-23 were trying to see whether they can qualify for under-23 uh, regional tournament. But that's what happened. The, the, that, that journey ended there. So that's, now you have had our under-17, our under-20, and our 23. Now I want to talk about All-Stars, the team we all know, All-Stars, that went uh, to play Hull City. Uh, and you know what happened in that game. Hull City, under-18, beat All-Stars from Kenya. Now, the same team, as you know, uh, played against the uh, uh, Cordoba in Spain, we lost. They played against uh, Seville, Sevilla, you call it, in Spain, we lost. The same team, All Stars, keep 
keep following. Then All Stars played Iraq. You know what? They lost. We all know the result. Keep following. All Stars played against Thailand. We lost. This is the one that hurts me the most. You know Thailand is, rank, is ranked so low in FIFA ranking. So, so low that it is actually sad to, to hear that Thailand could beat Kenya. All Stars. You know. So I wanted to talk about those youth, youth teams there and then All Stars. Then please, you can tell me if I'm lying when I, when I talk about this topic, the death of Harambe Stars. Harambe Stars right now, the, the, the senior team, is lying on a deathbed, to be honest, because our, our youth teams are not doing well. We don't have any youth team. We just group up boys when we need a youth team, take them where the tournament is, they get beaten. And all, the, the thing that coaches keep saying is that we have learned something. We have, I have heard this from all coaches who have been taking this youth team. We are learning something. It was a, a kind of a lesson for us. This has taught us something. What are we learning? I have given you, I have given you statistics from, 20, from 2010. To now, we are 2018. We keep losing matches saying we are learning something. Let us, let us talk about uh, Starlet under 20. You know, under 20 got beaten. Uh, just last, uh, last year, they were trying to qualify for FIFA Women uh, under 20 World Cup. You know what happened? Ghana beat Kenya in aggregate 10-1. That is just last year. So that's Starlet under 20. Germany. How long, um, uh, how long am I going to talk about this, all the failures, highlighting failures. What I want is us to listen, to analyze, and do something about these failures, yeah? So that everything we see is as a result of failed football system. I have been saying this, I will keep saying this, I'll keep talking about it until the time come when we usher in a new era for football in Kenya. But Vision Total Football Kenya is the answer. I have already addressed all these issues that I talk uh, in my clips. I have I have already gone through this uh, in Vision Total Football Kenya and come and come up with answers. The solutions are there. All we need is to embrace Vision Total Football Kenya and get it implemented by the government. My brothers and sisters, now we are facing another game. We are trying to qualify. Kenya is trying to qualify for 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. We are in Group F. Kenya, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Ethiopia. We have already played our first game, Sierra Leone against Kenya. You know very well that happened uh, last year. We've lo we lost to Sierra Leone, so we are, uh, you know, uh, we are there now. So I don't know what will happen when we play against Ethiopia, what will happen when we play against Ghana. But let me remind you something. In 1965, Kenya played against Ghana. And the result was Ghana 12, Kenya 2. The test of time is coming. We are going to play Ghana. I think, it, I, think it's, I think it's going to be in September. But my dear brothers and sisters, I can tell you the truth. You can bet this if you are a bet man. Kenya is not going to qualify for 2019 World Cup. Sorry, 2019 uh, AFCON. Unless there is miracle somewhere that I don't understand. Hata twende kwa waganga, hata twende wapi. The statistic I have given you highlights all our problem, and our problems starts far up there. Youth teams. We cannot just keep expecting miracles from our our senior team, the Harambe Stars, when we don't have any youth team that is doing good. And youth teams don't exist in Kenya. You know, right now there is a there was a trial three weeks ago to make under 20 team so that uh, they can play a uh, calf uh, tournament that will lead to under 20 world cup i can also tell you kenya is not going to qualify for that we are waiting a game to come that game is going to be uh, in april kenya is going to play against south africa and today as you know tanzania withdrew to play a friendly game against against Kenya, which was which was going to be part of preparation. So we are waiting. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake. I must apologize. It's not South Africa. Kenya, in April, Kenya under 20 is going to play uh, Rwanda. But to tell you the truth, uh, that team will not go anywhere. We are not going to qualify. We have been, try been trying to qualify for so long for many different things. What we need is not, not to worry about qualification. What we need is to sort our youth system.
so that we don't just group up boys when it's time for a tournament and say we have under tw under under 20 we have under 17 we have under 13 you have seen it all uh, fkf group up boys trial here and there make a team go get beaten come back that story ends there until the next tournament so my dear brothers and sisters let us be serious let us sort our football system. Vision Total Football Kenya is going to usher in a new era for football in Kenya. A new football federation is going to be formed in Kenya, no matter what. Once the government receives Vision Total Football Kenya, the government of Kenya is going to fully understand what I have been talking about. And the government of Kenya, I have faith that the government is going to implement Vision Total Football Kenya. And football is going to change all across Kenya. Opportunities will come. We will never be beaten again. Everywhere we go, we have become a laughing stock. Every country can beat us, no matter what we do. You look at women football, it is in a total mess. You look youth football, total mess. You look our Premier League, total mess. You look other semi-professional leagues, the National League in Kenya a total mess in fact i saw the other day a team that is uh, that that's playing in uh, national super league which is like our second biggest league after we have kenya premier league then national super league and i saw a team that plays in that league saying that they are not able to pay transport to go to a fixture which is 30 minutes away there is no money in our football my dear brothers and sister our football is is not making any money, is valueless in economic terms. We need a fresh football system. We need a new era for football in Kenya. We need a new football governing body, and that is the way forward. So my brothers and sisters, please like, subscribe, and comment. Continue to support me until one day, very soon, we are going to do a revolution walk, where we are going to take Vision Total Football Kenya to the government, to the state house. That time is coming soon. I have few things to do to get things ready, but we are going to get there. Your support is so important. The vision, this vision is for you and me. I have been working on it for the last five years. From 2013, when Uhuru government came in for the first time, I started working on that vision. It is now complete, but there is few things outside that vision that I need to do here in the UK. And then I can come over. We are going to do a revolution walk. 5 million of us, 20 million of us, 5,000, it doesn't matter. We will walk there and hand the, the vision to the president. We will hand it to the president so that the government can make a vision Total Football Kenya a government program. That is the end game. Waifo Jameni, my brothers and sisters, support me. Comment, like, and please subscribe. Tuko pamoja, pamoja tuwakoe futa Kenya. Asante ni sana. Thank you very, very much.